quick, graph y equals the opposite of the absolute value of x by hand two different ways. This is part of the family of functions series. You will need graph paper or you can download this and print it. Press pause as needed anytime during the video. So we're going to graph this using what I call the absolute value dance. Please recall that the graph of a function and its opposite are reflections or mirror images about the x-axis. That is, with the same x-coordinates, they have opposite y-coordinates. So begin at the origin. Since the opposite of the absolute value of 0 is 0, 0, 0 is there. Instead of going to the right 1 and up 1 like we do on the absolute value, we will go right 1 and down 1 because the opposite of the absolute value of 1 is negative 1. Similarly, right 2 down 2, and right 3 down 3. And then to the left 1 and down 1 instead of up 1, like we normally would. Left 2 and down 2, and left 3 and down 3. Connecting the points, we get the beautiful V for the absolute value, except it's upside down. Comparing that to the parent function, and remember, the graphs are reflections of each other about the x-axis. Second way, we're going to use a table. So we'll start off with the traditional y equals absolute value of x table. And what we're going to do is take the opposite of each of the y-coordinates, because that's what it says to do right here. And so 2 will be opposite become negative 2, so we'll plot 2 comma negative 2. The opposite of 1 1 comma negative 1. The opposite of 0 is itself, so we'll go to the origin. The opposite of 1 is negative 1, so negative 1 comma negative 1. And then finally negative 2 comma negative 2. Connecting the points again, we get the absolute value upside down. Comparing it to the parent function, the graphs are reflections about the x-axis.